What's up, everybody? It's Stephen here from Mod Fame, and today we're talking about everything that is wrong with the cheapest Hellcat in the country. Let's get into it. Let's go. So, like I said, guys, this video is going to be a quick one because there's not a hell of a lot wrong with the car. I mean, I must say that it seems like we got a pretty good one overall, but there are some things. So number one, let's start out with the cosmetic issues that's wrong with the cheapest Hellcat. If you've been watching the videos, then you've probably seen that the front lip on this car is broken. So it's broken up pretty damn good. Down here, it's like kind of in pieces. It's this plastic piece here. It's all messed up. So number one, cosmetic thing this front lip also cosmetic if you notice the front bumper it looks like it's sagging in the middle right and it is look the grill tabs are broken everything look at this so the grill tab is broken there's nothing there it's not connected to anything and if you're wondering what these marks were it was the other thing that i hated about what was on this car which was the front plate holder um so the grill tabs are broken the front bumper is sagging in the middle from whatever this hit was. The paint is all like cracked up from that distress thing that whatever happened uh, before I bought the car. It looks like probably ran into a, uh, one of those parking structures. And if you notice, rock chips galore. Rock chips everywhere. Full disclosure though, I think the rock chips was probably us on the way home. <laughs> Those times where it was raining really bad, that's when you get the worst rock chips. So, there you go. That's more part of cosmetic. There's also more, some more cosmetic. Let me show you right now. The hardest thing to be able to show you guys is going to be the small little dents that the car has. Uh, that's also cosmetic and wrong with the car. But there's one here in a pillar. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you guys it. You're not going to see it. Let's see if I can get it. There it is. Boom. Got it right here you see that watch when i wave the cloud by it it's gonna wrinkle anyway so it's one right there and then along the passenger side it's the same thing right here you see that one better you see it and then there's one right here you see it right there the other ones are so small, you're not gonna pick it up. So it doesn't make sense trying to show it to you. But as far as cosmetic goes, there's also like a couple little scratches on the back bumper, scratches in the paint, but very minor overall. So in other words, the car didn't live its best life. It also didn't live a horrible life either. So all that's gonna take is a little paint correction. We already started a little bit with a stage one, uh, thanks to Stretch Auto Spa. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I wanna show you some of that. First real car wash since having to call back. I've been doing little bull stuff, you know, wetting it down, wiping it off. But this is the first official real car wash that's happening right now. I had to stop by and come see my boy Stretch Auto Spa. But you know what else we doing today? We getting them bullish stickers from the side of the car. The big cat sign and my boy Lorenzo is gonna help us out with that. You know the guy that clear bra the whole front of the Panamera? Yeah, he's gonna hook us up and take off those decals. We need that off of there. We're going for a clean look. Because this weekend, we're taking the car out. We're going to drive it down to Philly, meet up with the Free Smoke guy, uh, Vengeance. That team, they super strong. We're going to catch some of that. But for right now, I just wanted to show y'all this a little bit. under my hood was dirty, right? I told y'all we gonna clean this car up. It's gonna be real nice. Uh-oh, 
There go the boss man right there. The big, the, the dog, the man right there. Y'all don't, I don't usually show this guy, but today he making a grand entrance, so I'm gonna show him. Cause he's just getting here. He's just getting here now. Now I'm be able to show somebody under my hood. What you say, stretch? What you say? What you say? Of course, of course, of course. What you say? Wait, what? I said, of course. Wait, wait, wait. You said, wait, what? Wait till what? Oh, oh, oh now nah, the final, the final touch. The, the final touch. Just yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's pre -game, you know? This is pregame stretch day. This is pregame. All right, well, yeah, I'm going to show y'all the final touch when he's done. Come on, man. Tell me that ain't better. Tell me that ain't better. So much cleaner. Nice. All right. Next up, next up. We're going to do the dog bag removal. That's next up. Clean. You know, get this off too. Everybody, everybody knows it's a dog. It's all right. I don't need to say it. Take that off. So as you guys can see, the condition of this panel is not that good. But the master say don't worry about it. We'll have it uh, back to black in no time. Piano black. But I got rid of those dog letters. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to throw them away. I want to keep them. So I just rest it right there for right now. I stuck them there. So they will be there. Yo, your boy Stretch is low key here talking shit. Yeah. He can't. He can't help himself. He talking shit. He can't just work. He gotta talk shit and work. Talk, talk shit, work, talk shit, work, talk shit, work. <laughs> you know what though? I let him. I let him talk his stuff because the end result, the end result be right. I can't. He, <laughs> he said, "Turn up, turn up on what? Buffing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, turn up, turn up." This ain't for everybody, man. This right here ain't for everybody. Oh, he said that ain't no orbital. And they know that. That's they what he know. said. He for said that. They know that. <laughs> That's pretty dope. So next thing to go, this hood stripe. I don't like it. I know some of y'all do. But I don't, so that's the next thing to go. It's going. Bye bye. Deuces. Just one down, one more to go. All off, nice and icy now. Now it's time to buff it all out. See the haziness on the bumper? I'm gonna buff that out. It's better than, the hood is better than that though. But as you can see, it's all off, clean, clean. We got off that front plate. Unfortunately, this is what's left behind though from the plate being on there. But it's all good when we get a new front lip and we're gonna repair the bumper and paint that bottom half. So it'll be fine. But coming along nice, very nice. Now y'all know we gotta show you the finished product. So of course, what do we do? We went somewhere nice to a little rooftop, broke out the drone, took some dope pictures. Here it is, here it is. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Mechanical things, number two. Mechanical things that's wrong with the cheapo kitty. Overall, great. I can't really tell anything. The car is strong as an ox. But the uh, what I can tell is that the clutch pedal is very hard. 
it should not be as hard as this clutch pedal is so that could be one of two things either the clutch is going or it could be uh it needs to be bled or something wrong with the slave cylinder or something like that so uh, we'll take it in the dodge and we'll let them take a look at it and let me know if it is the clutch okay whatever i'll change the clutch i'll put an upgraded one because we're going to upgrade the car anyway so we'll just put a better clutch that can hold the power so no big deal there but besides that mechanically the car is solid solid man i mean you guys saw me giving it up or at least you saw me losing anyway mechanically it's good and last but not least number four the brake dust holy mother of god this car has the ability to put out pounds of brake dust dust is light pounds of brake dust thank god we already did our second mod to the hellcat which was putting on carbon ceramic pads maybe not carbon but ceramic pads <laughs> so these pads that i put on there everyone talks about them on uh, the hellcat forums thanks to you guys for giving me that data that that was really helpful but i already changed the front we did the front pads uh so the brake dust on the front is extremely minimal and the rear is still a little on the heavier side so we got to do the rears next but thanks for that mod much appreciated so we already got two mods done to the hellcat but yeah so overall guys that's it man uh, i mean i don't have much to say about this car everything that's wrong next video is everything i love about the cheapo kitty and trust me when i tell you guys it's mcdonald's up in here ba -da -ba -ba -ba. i'm loving it i must say but if you like this video you guys know what to do like subscribe share but until the next one it's your boy stefan here from mod the fame and i'm out i'm out <laughs>